everybody today I'm going to be showing you my foundation slash face routine I've been doing this for several months now and I really really like it I also like to switch things up too so I'm going to show you some options that I've been using um, and I think that'll be pretty helpful I don't know just show you more products and stuff and I also have a good mix of like drugstore items and high-end items so good mix between the two um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned so I always start off by moisturizing and prepping my skin. I use the Burt's Bees Daily Moisturizing Cream. This is in their like sensitive line and I really like it. I've been using it for a really long time now. It's very light, it's not too heavy, it's not like a thick cream and it sinks into my skin pretty quickly so I just get some on my hands. You don't want to put too much moisturizer on because your skin's just going to absorb however much it needs and then after that it's just going to sit right on top of your face. So maybe like a half a pump I do, and although this is really light um, and it sinks in quickly, it still moisturizes, and it's, it's still very moisturizing, so that's what I love about it. So now for underneath my eyes, I just started using an eye cream, which is crazy, but I've been using the Yes to Blueberries. This is the Age Refresh Eye Firming Treatment. Really good. I feel like my concealer now looks so much better because I've been using this eye cream. Um, but I just take a little bit, like a, like a half a pump, maybe even less, and just dab it on underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna use my other finger, like this, this much. And I'm just dabbing it in here. So now that my moisturizer and my eye cream is on, I wait about 15 to 20 minutes for this to really sink in, and then I start with my makeup stuff. So I'm gonna be waiting about 15 minutes today, and then I will be right back. So I'm back and now that my moisturizer and my eye cream have sunk in, I'm going to do primer and um, today I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is just the regular one, oil free and this is like just a mini like little deluxe sample and I love this primer so much. I found it in my little sample drawer that I have and I was like why haven't I used this? But for a drugstore one, this is my favorite drugstore primer ever, it's the L'Oreal Magic Lumi really pretty gives a nice like dewy look to your face. I'm gonna take a little tiny bit like a little drop and I'm gonna spread it on my cheek and then I'm gonna do the same thing to my other cheek. I do it by section I don't know I just feel like it works better. Okay so now that my primer is on I'm gonna move on to foundation and my top Favorite is the Revlon Color Stay Liquid. It's in this little tube. I'm in the shade Nude. And then um, I also really like the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation. This one's really good too. I just like the way my makeup looks when I use this. I feel like my blush and my bronzer stay on longer. But yeah, this one's really, really good too. They're both pretty mattifying, but um, you know, it's okay. And I have dry skin and this doesn't like stick to my dry spots. So that's really good. So I shake the bottle up and I get some on my finger and I do three dots there, shake it up again. And then I do another three dots. Now with this foundation, you can do a very thin coverage, which is what I'm going to be doing. And it gives a really nice, just like you, you look better. You're more even and stuff. That's what I like about it. Or if you have more to cover, you can always do a second or third layer and you're good to go. This can be a super flawless, like, full coverage foundation if you need it to. So I'm using my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge, which I love so, so much. I like it way more than the Beauty Blender. I like this flat side. It's great for, like, uh, blending this out. Alright, so this side is done. I shake it up again and then I'm going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. And this foundation lasts all day. Like, I don't have to worry about it at all. I don't have to look at myself in the mirror. I know that it's on my face all day. So if I have like any pimples or zits, I will just take my finger and take some of the foundation, like dot it on in the areas where I need a, just a little bit more coverage. I don't like to use a ton of foundation, so usually I'll just cover it up a little bit in the areas where I need, and then if the foundation doesn't cover it, I'll just go in with my concealer later. After I'm done with my foundation, I like to start on my eyes, because I feel like with the Revlon Color Stay, the longer you wear it, the better it looks. So I let my foundation just sink in for a little bit, and I do my eyes. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows, and then do my eyeshadow, and then I will be right back with concealer. So before I put on my 
my eyeliner and mascara. I usually clean up my eyeshadow with my concealer because I usually have some fallout here and I don't want to put my concealer and then do my eyeshadow because then it's just going to ruin everything. So I've been using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in vanilla and I put this right under my eye, like right here, because this is going to conceal like my dark... I have like some discoloration right here, so this is going to conceal that. And then um, to highlight, I use the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch, I think this is called, like this. And uh, sometimes I'll use the Magic Lumi by L'Oreal. Both of these are really good, I've just been loving this one. And also for concealer, if I don't use my NARS, I use the Hard Candy Glamouflage, and this is in light. Love this, this is my favorite drugstore uh, concealer ever. So, I put the highlighter right underneath the NARS, and I bring it up um, to my hairline right here. So I go in with my ring finger and tap the NARS concealer in first, just to make sure that gets exactly where I want it. And then I go ahead and just like blend both of them together with my finger. Then I blend out the edges with my complexion sponge by Real Techniques. And at the same time I clean up my eyeshadow like this. So I hope you guys can tell the difference. This side looks a lot brighter. Um, I don't have the discoloration anymore, so that's good. And my eyeshadow looks a little bit more cleaned up. So now I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. And um, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer is really good. But if you have really dry skin, um, you can still use it. You just have to use a really good eye cream. When I first got this, my skin was so, so dry. And I actually hated this concealer. But then once I changed up my whole skincare routine, I was able to use this no problem and also at this time I do the concealer in the areas where I need to cover up some like acne scars and stuff like that even if some of them do peek through my foundation and stuff I don't really mind um, I don't know that kind of stuff doesn't bother me too much I don't like super full flawless coverage I like you know to, to have my skin peeking through and stuff so I'm just dabbing the concealer where I need it now that my concealer is done, I've been using the e.l.f. Mineral Booster in Sheer to set my under eyes. It's a loose powder. I love it. For some reason, I like loose powders to set my under eyes. Don't know why. I just like it better. So I'm going to take this, and I'm using the e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush. I'm just tapping it in. So now to set my whole face, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder. This is the warm version. They do sell the cool version at like Target and Walmart and places like that, but I kind of like the warm version a little bit better. So I'm going to use... where is my brush? Okay, I'm going to use the um, small tapered brush and I'm going to take some of it on here and set my T-zone and wherever I put my concealer. I don't set my whole face with powder just because I do have dry skin and I don't really have to. But of course, if you have oily skin, then you might as well just set your whole face. So that's it for the setting powder. I'm going to let all that sink in and I'm just going to finish my eyes really quickly. Alright, so now that my eyes are done, my concealer is done, my setting powder is done, it's time for bronzer. Because right now I got my eyes, my eyebrows done, and like no color on my face. So I've been using the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. I just got this a couple weeks ago and I've been loving it. It does have a tiny bit of shimmer. You can barely see it in the actual packaging and when it's on my face, I don't see any of it. But it's not flat like a lot of matte bronzers can be, so love this. I also really like the NYC uh, Sunny Bronzer. That one's really, really good too, and it's a lot cheaper. So I'm just going to pick some up on my e.l.f. complexion brush, and I'm just going to pretty much put this all over my face, mainly in the areas where I'm going to contour. So I'm going to put some right here on the sides of my face. And then I'm just going to end up taking it everywhere. Not so much underneath my eyes because I do want that pretty bright, but on my chin, on my nose, also on my forehead, the sides of my forehead. So 
now my face looks 10 times better. I have some color. Now on to contouring. I've been obsessed with the NARS Laguna Bronzer. This is a little duo that I got from Sephora. It was 24 bucks. I figured why not try it out. It also comes with orgasm. And um, I don't know. I've been really liking Laguna. And I don't think I'm going to run out of this anytime soon. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. So I'm going to use the Crown Brush Contour Brush. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with this. I love it. But at the same time, the quality is just really bad. I like the shape and I like how it's a little fluffy but I mean like I can pull this out anytime I want do you see it it's gross it sheds all the time even when I wash it till this I've had this for like two years now until this day it's still um, like it bleeds it's bleeds black in my sink and I'm just what's going on here but still I, I like the brush anyway so what are you gonna do um, I'm getting some of Laguna on here and I'm just gonna contour my cheeks first I've so I have all these baby hairs here so I have to pull it back and just lightly contour So my contouring is done, and I wouldn't say this is like a super light contour, but I wouldn't say it's a super heavy one either. It's kind of right in the middle. Um, a really good drugstore bronzer is the e.l.f. Cool Bronzer. This is my favorite drugstore one. So I'm going for like a really peachy look today, so I'm going to use the Milani Baked Blush in the Illuminoso. For blush, I mean, I could recommend you guys a ton of blushes that I love. Um, I have a whole favorite drugstore blushes video that I'll link down below. So with blush, I usually, I either use the Sonia Kashuk angled brush or the e.l.f. blush brush. So today, I'll do the angled one. Um, I just take a little bit of Luminoso on here. Oh, I think that's it for my foundation routine. I think I'm done. So that's it for my foundation and face routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys um, really like that I gave you some options, because although we do have our routines, we still like to switch things up every now and then. So, yeah, I hope that was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.